So in this video, I'm going to share with you how diet and lifestyle affects the menopause experience. And with so much information out there in the media, things that we read, things that we watch, we're often left confused about exactly what to do for our particular body needs. And you may be feeling sort of bombarded, you know, with all of this information, thinking, feeling like you're in this overload. But I'm here to tell you that being thin is not the goal. And you may be like me who love their feminine curves, love their feminine size. You just want to get through these feelings of menopause and, or maybe it's new for you. And you've been in a family where women didn't talk about it because I'm going to be honest with you, the women in my family, they didn't talk about it. So, which is weird because when I was coming up as a young, young woman, getting my period was talked about. It was talked about what to do and what to expect, how to prepare for it. But no one told me about menopause, what to, what to expect, how to prepare for it. What are some good foods that I can eat that would diminish some of my symptoms? But then I realized later they didn't talk about it because they didn't know. Um, so that's why I want to talk to you in this video about this particular subject because it's near and dear to my heart. And if you're going through menopause right now, and you need some support, you're not exactly sure what foods you should be eating or what you should do, then pay attention because you're definitely going to learn in this video right now. Welcome back. I am Milan of So Natural Wellness and of the Chic Women Don't Diet Wellness and Culinary Lifestyle Program where I help women like yourself who are struggling, uh, trying to figure out exactly what to eat and how to eat going through menopause and just need some direction and know how to get more organized and structured in your kitchen and in your lifestyle. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how diet and lifestyle can influence the menopause symptoms. So if you haven't had an opportunity to subscribe to my channel just yet, then go on and click on the link click the button and make sure that you also click the bell because when I do produce a new video, you will know when it has been released and definitely come back here. So how does diet affect the menopause symptoms? So I'm sure you know right now, menopause is a natural part of aging. Just like getting your period is a natural part of growing into becoming a woman. So menopause is really the part of that whole natural cycle of life that we experience as women. And although it may not be the most pleasant for you, all of the symptoms don't have to be unpleasant for you. And it's normal to experience some hot flashes and some mood swings at this time in your life. So don't feel like, oh, is this normal? Am I, am I going to be okay? So that's normal. Or maybe you're in a culture that just doesn't talk about it. And there are a lot of cultures that don't talk about menopause. It's almost sort of taboo to to bring the to to help the daughter along in life and i feel like if getting my period was important for me to know about that being in menopause is just as important for me to know about the symptoms the the issues the problems that we would go through especially if it's going to be if it's going to affect your life in any way however there are ways to minimize the effects with diet now maybe that's a new one for you or maybe no one's ever told you that but you're going to affect the menopause symptoms with diet because the food we choose can experience different symptoms for different women like uh, symptoms from food sensitivities or allergies it can also be uh, included in some horm hormone imbalances weight gain or loss or lack of libido or other nutritional deficiencies. So you can have a lot of symptoms or you may have no symptoms or you may have one or two symptoms. But for a lot of women, some of the symptoms tend to be uh, weight gain, hot flushes, hot flashes, night sweats. That tends to be uh, the th what I've been hearing a lot from women. In my experience in going through menopause, I reached menopause at 45. And it started with night sweats. I didn't even realize that it was even night sweats. And I'm going to include a link uh, in this video as well, for this video as well, about you know what foods to avoid. So when I reached menopause at 45, I had the night sweats really bad. I mean, I thought that, I don't know what was going on. I was just in a sweat. I mean, my bed was completely soaked. Um, I was drenched wet. 
So I was having a lot of um, night sweats, and they, but I didn't know because no one told me. Um, I knew other women in menopause, but I didn't really, I didn't connect the dots myself. Even being a uh, health and wellness and lifestyle coach, I just didn't connect the dots for myself because it was such a new experience for me. 50, going to 52, 51, 52, it almost diminished because that's when I started adding in more plant-based foods to my diet, more spices, more herbs that, that helps my body to start to diminish the symptoms of menopause. So here's my strategy number two. So you see the connection in strategy number one. That was my thought. So here is my chic strategy tip number two. Number two is there are strategies that will help to um, reduce the impact of menopause for well-being. If you're experiencing the symptoms of menopause, sometimes it's just really tough to find relief at this time of time in your life to figure out what exactly will work for you and what is the best thing for you. But one thing that can definitely help to reduce some of the symptoms of menopause is eating certain foods. And I have found this a lot with working with my clients. So these are the six foods that will help you with your symptoms. And these are six foods that are you can easily get in the market in a grocery store. So oatmeal, oatmeal can be eaten, of course, cool as well as hot um, as a snack. But definitely make sure that they're still cut and not rolled oats because rolled oats can sometimes cause an allergic reaction or either an uh, inflammatory reaction in your body. So you definitely don't want to do rolled oats. You want still cut. Still cut oats, walnuts, you can toast the walnuts on the burner or pop them in the oven. But if you're going to put them in the oven, make sure you stand right there because as soon as you start to smell it, take it out of the oven before you burn them because it can happen so fast. And typically when I turn on my oven to cook anything, I always put the oven on a um, 350, 400 degree temperature because I like to get in and get out of the kitchen. So that's typically where I put it at. So your walnuts, some honey, avocado, uh, olive oil, and garlic. And you maybe want to uh, mash your garlic into a paste. I do it myself and I'm a gourmet wellness chef. So I do it myself. I don't buy it pre um, cut up. So I just cut up my own garlic. Garlic, mix that together in a bowl, or you can make an um, avocado, like an avocado toast, and um, spread that on top with some spinach, or you can even add some chicken for protein um, to help you with building muscle, also to help you stay focused a lot longer. So those are some things that can help you in menopause and that will help you to start to reduce some of the symptoms in menopause. So you definitely want to, even if you're eating high protein foods, you want to make sure that you're adding in lots of plant-based foods. So there is a life, there are several different lifestyles out there from keto to um, uh, paleo, but I love a plant-based lifestyle. I'm not 100% plant-based. However, um, I am semi-plant. So I still enjoy my meats, but at the same time, I will make sure that I'm eating lots of plant-based cuisines as well. Plant-based foods like spinach, colorful peppers, beets, uh, radishes, beans, nuts, seeds, all of those are amazing in helping you to reduce your symptoms in menopause. So now let's get into the, the third chic tip or the third chic, chic strategy, chic thought. So the third one is the Two. best way to stay healthy and reach your goals of wellness and menopause and to make sure that you don't gain too much weight is to start eating a variety of foods, foods and not cutting out anything. And that's one of the things a lot of women that I don't like is that they start to cut out a lot of foods when that may not even be the issue at all. So the more you think about it as something that will make your life feel better, instead of restricting yourself from foods, the easier this process will be. So you definitely don't wanna be restricting a lot of food from your lifestyle. And plus, when you start to restrict yourself from foods, when you go away on vacation, when you go away on a trip, when you go away on business, it's hard for you to eat because now you're so restricted. So you wanna make sure that you're eating in a way, in a lifestyle that will not be restricting, restrictive for you, but that you can enjoy it 
no matter where you go on vacation, you're dining around family, friends, or colleagues, that you'll still be able to enjoy yourself. If getting creative in the kitchen sounds like too much work, I completely understand. One thing that makes it fun is looking for creative ways to make your favorite recipes, to find new recipes, and Pinterest boards are loaded with new recip with recipes and techniques. Um, learning new techniques can also help to make this fun in the kitchen. Also, when you're doing things right in the kitchen, when you're very structured, when you're organized, when you have a food plan that works and that's doable for you and that's stress-free, guess what happens in the process? Eating the right foods, you will start to regulate your estrogen levels. And that's of utmost importance when you're going through menopause because once those uh, levels are out of control, you will have a lot more symptoms and a lot more problems. And I want this time of your life to be as stress-free as possible and to be enjoyable. So if you're looking for ways to get back on track, there's hope. And I'm going to make sure that you get that. So I want to introduce you to the Color Me Beautiful Gourmet Cooking and Wine Chic Shop that helps women like yourself to find relief from their symptoms through food. So the Gourmet Food and Wine Chic Shop, this will help to, to provide some additional guidance with food, food choices and recipes to your wellness journey as well, helping you to enjoy the journey, enjoy the process of being in menopause. So I'm going to include the link with this video. So that the link will be below and this will take place November 26th. So I definitely want to make sure that you sign up for this class. And um, when you sign up, it's one for, uh, 147 in US dollars. So definitely make sure that you sign up. I want you to be a part of it with me. I want you to experience this with me and I want to see you. I want to meet you. So once you go on, you check out the page, you check out my um, the details about it, sign up. Come join me. Let's have some fun together. So until our next time together, until always, stay beautiful and healthy.